Hey there, candy lovers! Today we're about to uncover the sour secrets behind one of your favorite treats, sour gummy bears. Have you ever wondered how these chewy, tangy delights are actually made? Well, wonder no more. We're going to break down the process step by step, using simple words to demystify the world of sour gummy bear production. So grab a seat and get ready to satisfy your curiosity. Before we dive into the sour specifics, we'll dive into the history of sour gummy bears. Sour gummy bears are a prime example of how confectionery trends can evolve. Their introduction tapped into the broader fascination with combining contrasting flavors to create unique taste sensations. The popularity of sour gummy bears paved the way for other sour candy innovations, such as sour belts, sour patches, and sour straws. This expansion of the sour candy category showcases its enduring appeal. The tangy coating on sour gummy bears not only adds flavor, but also creates a tactile experience. The initial puckering sensation followed by the soft chewiness of the gummy provides a dynamic journey for the senses. Sour gummy bear's popularity is not limited to a specific age group. Children enjoy the playful sourness, while adults appreciate the nostalgia of gummy bears with an exciting twist. Candy companies often release limited time or seasonal variations of sour gummy bears, capitalizing on the anticipation and excitement of trying new flavors. Sour gummy bears have not only remained a favorite snack, but have also inspired creative uses in baking and desserts. They can be incorporated into cakes, cookies, and even cocktails to infuse that delightful tanginess. The global popularity of sour gummy bears led to international variations with unique flavors and regional twists, reflecting the diverse palates and preferences of different cultures. The continued success of sour gummy bears highlights their lasting impact on the candy industry. As consumer tastes evolve, these candies have proven their ability to adapt, innovate, and maintain their position as a beloved treat. Let's start with the basics. Gummy candies are a type of confection made from a mixture of ingredients that includes sugar, water, and gelatin. Gelatin is a protein derived from animal collagen and is what gives gummies their chewy texture. Now let's talk about what goes into making sour gummy bears extra special. In addition to the basic ingredients, sour gummy bears contain a few extra components. These often include citric acid, tartaric acid, and malic acid, the secret ingredients that give them the mouth-puckering sour taste. The journey begins by mixing the basic ingredients together in a large kettle. This mixture is heated to dissolve the sugar and activate the gelatin. The result is a sweet and sticky concoction. It will soon become those iconic gummy bear shapes. No gummy bear is complete without its unique flavors and vibrant colors. Natural and artificial flavorings are added to the mixture to give the gummies their fruity taste. Colorants are also introduced to create the rainbow of gummy bears you find in the bag. Before we go further on the sour magic trick of the sour gummy bear, we give you some receipt hacks. Sour gummy bear recipe hacks involve creatively using these candies to enhance a variety of dishes. These hacks add a playful and tangy twist to both sweet and savory recipes. Popular applications include incorporating sour gummy bears into mocktails, ice cubes, parfaits, pancakes, salads, and dessert toppings. These hacks are widely shared on social media platforms due to their visual appeal and unexpected use of candy. However, it's important to consider the candy's texture in recipes. Overall, sour gummy bear recipe hacks offer a creative and fun approach to cooking, appealing to those who enjoy unique flavor combinations and culinary experimentation. Now comes the sour magic. Citric acid, tartaric acid, and malic acid are blended in just the right amounts to achieve that irresistible sour sensation. These acids not only make your taste buds tingle, but also balance out the sweetness of the gummies. With the mixture ready, it's time to give these gummy bears their shape. The liquid candy is poured into specially designed molds with bear-shaped cavities. As the mixture cools, it starts to set and take on that chewy texture we all know and love. The filled molds are then moved to a cooling area where the gummy bears continue to solidify. This process can take a few hours, and once they're fully set, the gummies are gently removed from the molds. They might look like a big gummy blob at this stage, but don't worry, we're not done yet to prevent the gummy bears from sticking together. They're coated with a light dusting of cornstarch or a similar material. This helps them keep their individual shapes and remain soft and chewy. Ah, here's where the sour magic comes back into play. 
The gummy bears are rolled in a mixture of sugar and the same sour acids we talked about earlier. This gives them the distinctive sour coating on the outside now that the sour gummy bears are fully dressed in their sour goodness. It's time to package them up. They're sorted, inspected for quality, and carefully placed into bags or boxes ready to make their way to store shelves near you. And there you have it, the fascinating journey from simple ingredients to those irresistibly sour gummy bears you love to munch on. From the mixing and molding to the sour coating and packaging, each step plays a role in creating this delightful treat. But hold on, there's more to the story. Ensuring that every gummy bear is consistent in flavor, texture, and appearance requires rigorous quality control. Manufacturers closely monitor each batch to make sure that the sour coating is evenly distributed and that the gummies meet the desired standards. This attention to detail guarantees that you get the same delightful experience with every bite. Did you know that the world of gummy candies is always evolving? Beyond the classic gummy bear shape, there are countless shapes, sizes and flavors available. Manufacturers often get creative by experimenting with new fruit combinations and sour intensities. Some gummies even have multiple layers offering a dynamic taste experience. Now let's talk about packaging. Once the gummies are ready, they're sealed in bags or boxes, each package designed to preserve freshness and prevent moisture from altering their chewiness. As the world becomes more environmentally conscious, many manufacturers are exploring sustainable packaging options to reduce their impact on the planet. Want to delve into the science behind the soreness? Our taste buds have specific receptors for detecting sour flavors. When you eat a sour gummy bear, the acids citric, tartaric, and malic activate these receptors, sending signals to your brain that interpret the taste as sour. It's a symphony of biology that brings that tangy sensation to life. Now, if you're feeling adventurous, you might even try making sour gummies at home. There are dye kits available that allow you to mix your own ingredients, pour them into molds, and create your very own gummy candies. It's a fun way to get hands-on with the process and experiment with flavors and sour levels. Before we wrap up, let's not forget the social aspect of gummy bears. Sharing a bag of sour gummies with friends or family is a bonding experience that transcends generations. From movie nights to road trips, these treats have a way of bringing smiles and shared moments wherever they go. And there you have it, the captivating journey of how sour gummy bears are made from the mixing of ingredients to the coating of sour powder. We hope this behind-the-scenes look has added an extra layer of enjoyment the next time you savor these tangy treasures. If you found this video intriguing, don't forget to hit that like button and share it with fellow gummy enthusiasts. And if you're not subscribed yet, consider joining our community for more exciting explorations. Until next time, keep feeding your curiosity and relishing life's sweet and sour surprises.